you should try running this AMD software installer and you get this error 195 AMD installer cannot continue because it is unable to access the required web resources. Now I'll guide you on how to resolve this problem. Make sure to follow these steps very carefully. Now start by restarting your network. So you can restart your network by coming here to your PC homepage. Then click the Wi-Fi that you're using. Then select here disconnect. After disconnect, you reconnect it back and then try to run the installer again. Now if you've done so but are still facing again the same issue, you can try using a different network just to test. Switch to a mobile hotspot or a different Wi-Fi. The current network may block AMD servers. Now, if you've used a different network but are still facing again the same issue, if you're connected to a VPN or proxy, if you're using a VPN or proxy, disable it and then try the installer again. Since I'm using a VPN, just disconnect from your VPN temporarily, then try to run the installer again. If you disconnect from a VPN or you're not using a VPN but are still facing again the same issue, temporarily disable firewall and network protection. Lots of people to resolve this issue by temporarily disable their firewall and network protection for your PC. Then search here for Windows Security and open the Windows Security System application. Click here on Firewall and Network Protection and then try to disable these three, which including Domain Network, Private Network, and Public Network. Start with Domain Network, click on it. Select here, turn it off. Come back, then Private Network, also turn it off. Come back and then select Public Network, also turn it off. Try to run the AMD installer and check if the problem has been resolved. If it has been solved, you can turn them back on later. If it hasn't fixed it, then try the steps here. Just download the standalone driver manually. To download the standalone driver manually, come to this page here, which is AMD drivers and the support page. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also, this page here, select your GPU, download the optional or recommended drivers package, not the auto detect. So don't download this auto detect. Just scroll down on this page here and select the product that you're using. Since you want to do update your graphics, you can select your graphics. Then select the graphics that you're using for your PC. You can just select maybe if it's Radeon RX. Then select the series that is specifically for your PC. Let's say this one. Then select the model for your graphics. Let's say it's this one, AMD Radeon RX 7000. So make sure to select specifically for your PC. And that is designed specifically for your PC. So let's say this one, select it. Click Submit to take you to the download page where you can download the AMD Radeon specifically for your PC. Let's say you use Windows 11. Select here Windows 11 and make sure to download the driver specifically for your PC, which is as a standalone. If I've done so, but are still facing again the same problem, use your laptop's driver's utility app. There are these apps here, which your laptop's driver's utility app can also help you update your graphics drivers, including My Asus for Asus laptops, Lenovo Vantage for Lenovo, HP Support Assist, and Dell Support Assist. Now, these apps often auto detect your exact model and offer the right drivers even better than the website. For example, I'm using Lenovo Vantage, so I'll search here for Lenovo Vantage and open the Lenovo Vantage. Now select here it is written system update. Select here check for updates and you'll check for updates for your latest drivers and then try to download it for you. So these apps often auto detect your exact model and offer the right drivers even better than the website. So you can try them if you're using Asus, you can try my Asus apps. HP use HP support assist, Lenovo use Lenovo Vantage. Dell Support Assist also can try these apps, which also works fine. If it all fails, wait a few hours up to 24 hours until the next day, and then try running the installer again. Sometimes AMD servers are temporarily down, which can cause error 195, unable to access the required web resources. So you should follow these instructions very carefully, and I hope you will resolve this error, which occurs in AMD Software Installer Error 195.